This is Hydrogen Tap. What you're looking at is a continuation of video number 93. We're at video 94. We're at 15 volts. We have distilled water with lye in it. Very small amount of lye. We're getting a reaction from it. The idea of this test was to see if there's any sludge coming from the plates. The question is whether the plates that I'm using creates a sludge or is it coming from the water. In the first video, or video 93, we were running straight distilled water and we saw no reaction whatsoever. No amperage and we were running at around 14 volts. At the end of that video, we put in a very small amount of lye, sodium hydroxide, and this is the reaction we have. What you're looking at here is the plate system I'm using for the pulse system, which consists of two 6 by 12 inch plates separated by about an eighth of an inch. As you can see, now we're going to add more lye to the water. Since there's a, over a gallon and a half of water here, it's going to take a lot more lye. If this was a standard cell or 3LR1000, it would take a pinch to do the same thing. And now you can see an immediate reaction. We're not stirring it, so it takes a few moments for the lye to dissolve in the water. You can see the voltage is at 12, almost 13 volts. And the amp meter is starting to deflect to about 5 amps. A little over two minutes into the test. And you can see the water is clear. Those are hydrogen bubbles you see there, which so far we've proved the theory that it's in the water. After this test, there's no question in my mind whatsoever that we have to start using distilled water and lye for an electrolyte. The water is still clear. We're over three minutes in the test, running over 12 volts. We've got a 12 volt battery and a charging system which is producing between 12 and 14 volts. We're producing more hydrogen than can be released in the air, so now it's going down in the tube. You can see to, to the left the pulse unit that I'm getting ready to work with this cell. This cell is not using a pulse system. This is strictly off the DC battery, which is around 14 volts. We'll see in a moment. And we have lye in it, or sodium hydroxide. The reason for this video is to test or to find out once and for all whether the sludge that's found in the bottom of these cells is from the plates, the stainless steel, or is it coming from the water? We're at 13, almost 14 volts due to the charger. And we've pretty well proven that the plates are not putting out any of that sludge. The water is still clear.
We're over five minutes into the test. The water is clear. The amount of hydrogen that it's putting out now is enough to make me have to ventilate the room a lot better. Remember, there's over a gallon and a half of water here. And normally, we'd only be putting a pinch of this into a standard cell, pinch of the lye, and we'd be getting a lot more hydrogen out. The amperage has dropped down to about 4 volts, which is interesting in itself. You can see the big bubbles coming to the top. That's the oxygen. The hydrogen is all those small bubbles or the white that you see in the tank. Between test number 93 and this test number 94, we've pretty well proven, without a doubt in my mind, that all the sludge the junk that was in the water that we've seen is from the tap water. From here on in, all I'll be using is distilled water. It makes no sense to use water that will produce as much problems as I've seen from the tap. I'll be posting these findings on hydrogentaptap.com. You'll be able to see the hardware that's involved in this test. It's 1245 after midnight and tonight it's now Sunday here started it on Saturday again if you go to hydrogen tap tap dot com give me a to the end of the day you'll see more postings